Hey YouTube Land, Tech Andres Eric doing another action figure review. Now I know it's been a while since I did it. Uh, if action figure review, I didn't realize it, it was actually that long, mainly because that it was a uh, um, been working a long week on, which is usually four, sorry, six, 12 hour shifts back to back. So I didn't realize there was that much of a gap between my last upload and this one. So I'm going to try and keep this one nice and short. It's fairly simplistic figure in the sense that it doesn't have any accessories or a stand but we are going to have to take a quick look at the Bandai Stranger Things season four yes season four the void series Vecna figure so if you're not familiar with the Stranger Things uh, tv series this is a bit of a spoiler because this is one of the big bads from one of the seasons so would uh, if you want to know anything about this i would suggest you know watching the series and then come back and watch the review but the box he comes in is has the stranger things logo has the netflix logo up in the corner has the name of the character this is made in 2022 so this is from last year um it came out at the end of last year it's 15 plus Made by Bandai, you have legalese stuff on the bottom, You again you have the Stranger Things logo, you have an image of the figure on the back of the box doing a pose that is, it can just about pull off, we'll get into that in a minute, this is number 6 in the wave, they have done a few other figures, one of which is the Chief Hopper figure, which it isn't Chief Hopper in his Chief uniform, it's the prison garb, that he shows up in kind of like a big winter jacket and stuff like that there's also i think two versions of 11 and there's a few other figures in the line oh there's a oh what's his name the guy that was super famous character in it that was like this year that year's big famous character and i can't remember his name but he was the leader of the D, &D group for that season and i know people are probably going oh, it's this guy and i can't remember his name straight off the top of my head but i'll probably will remember it as i go along but um we'll have vecna himself to have a quick look at so we'll bring in the tape measure and you can see that he stands just around a six and a half inch uh scale so i I believe he's supposed to be in scale with six inch figures i don't think he's supposed to be in scale with the seven inch scale figures but it's kind of a hard call because i don't have any of the other figures in this wave or this line uh to base it off and i'm sure when it said he was a six inch scale figure when i got him so i think he's supposed to be one to twelve scale but he is quite nicely detailed if i bring in his head here you can see his face it is a nicely detailed, it's pretty much on par with what you see in the show. He, his head is on a ball joint. So you get some good turning movement. And some left to right. He doesn't do a whole lot much in the show. In the sense of like he doesn't have like beans or stuff or anything like that coming out of him. But you can kind of replicate... The image on the box, in fact if I turn around the image that shows his arm up a good bit. So if I move the arm to where it shows it in the box, his claw arm is like that. His other arm is outstretched like that. And then his legs are kind of, because in the show he's kind of floating in midair. So you can get that pose. It does require a little bit of moving around of joints now he does have a ball joint in fact it's easier in this one because it pops out quite a bit so there's a dumbbell joint here that has a range of movement and then it just pegs into this shoulder joint there is a swivel on that shoulder joint there is another kind of ball peg for the elbow so that has a swivel there's no bicep swivel again this guy is kind of froth with ball joints which are kind of painted to look like the skin but there are like visible joints 
compared to like other figures where they kind of hide, try to hide your joints a little bit better. Because of ab crunch, you can go back quite a bit. And crunch forward, not too bad. He has more back than forward crunch, but he does have it. You can sort of turn at the waist, but it does look weird because it's instead of it being a suit, it's an actual whole, you know, it's actual skin body kind of thing. So if you're moving his waist off to the side, it kind of like the whole waist should be turning, not just his hip. He does do the splits that much, which isn't brilliant, but it's because of the way he's designed. You can kick forward a bit. You kind of have to maneuver the waist piece enough for it. He has a single jointed knee, but you can see you can see the actual knee pad. Then it's not like a sculpted knee or anything like that. But that does have a swivel in it. It has a swivel on both sides. Uh, he doesn't have any peg holds. He does have toe articulation. He does have a ball jointed foot. So he does get some range of movement on the foot. There's a bit of a rocker ankle going on as well. And he does have the ball hinge on the wrist. So it's one of those ones where if you want it in a certain position. So if you want it up, down, you can change the hand. But if you want to move it, you have to move it to the right location. And then you can do in and out. So it is a ball hinge. You have to rotate it to the position you want it for to get the actual articulation point you want. He does have that kind of weird, it's not really a bicep swivel, but it is kind of hidden behind the shoulder. If it was bicep, it should be down here, but it's up just at the shoulder. So there is a shoulder swivel. And then, as I said, he has that ball jointed head. So he is a pretty cool figure. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the box out of the way, so I'm going to bring in a few figures just to showcase him with. So, as he is supposed to be a six inch scale figure, I'm going to bring in this is Batman from the McFarlane retro line. You can see he does stand taller than Batman, but then again, a lot of people do from other six inch lines, even though this is supposed to be a six inch figure. Bring in Peter. From the Ghostbusters line, so he does stand taller than taller than him. Would be a kind of cool crossover to have. Kind of Ghostbusters versus the uh upside down. So that's why I brought in old Peter. We have a figure which I have not yet reviewed, which is on my plans too, which is the G.I. Joe Stalker figure. So you can see. Vecna is taller than a kind of standard six inch figure. Come on, stalker. Your feet into the right position for standing. Oh, there goes his backpack. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's him standing. Just bring in one of the Fortnite figures. Teen, T, T, uh, teen Tina. And then just for scale comparison i'm going to bring in a six or seven inch figure because you can see how tall they are compared to vecna which is why i think he's more in the six inch scale more than seven inch so if I bring in the mcfarlane uh was it the uh, mcfarlane mortal kombat johnny cage and you can see he does stand a good bit higher than him so i'm not sure if this is supposed to be in scale because i know the character he's based off, you kind of don't see him interact too much with other average size humans. Everyone that he kind of interacts with are all the, the kind of, well, they're the teenagers now that used to be the kids from the original stuff. So it's kind of hard to tell because their their sizes are all over the place. But if I bring in another figure, because I have them handy. Bring in the original McFarlane hopper. You can see he does kind of scale to that. So it is hard to say which scale this guy should sit into it. So the Chief Hopper figure from McFarland was always kind of a bit smaller than the Mortal Kombat range. As you can see, the, the scale is, depending on which way you want to go swing with it, it could be good for 
the other um where the other stranger things figures from mcfarlane or you can go with the the idea that he's for six inch one to twelve scale it's up to yourself but he is a good figure now i got mine from big bad toy store i think he should be available from most places and he is ah i knew i remembered the guy's name the guy's name that i'm trying to remember from earlier on was eddie there is an eddie eddie munson i think his name was there's an Eddie Munson figure as well, which I didn't pick up because I didn't like the look of the kind of more human characters. The faces looked very sort of cartoony compared to, they didn't look as realistic as stuff like the like Black Series or the G.I. Joe classified. didn't have the kind of level of detail that those had. They kind of looked very soft on the details, but Vecna is actually a better figure overall because he's you know he's kind of made up character he's not they're not trying to design him off a human like a normal standard human skin tone or anything like that so they were able to kind of go to town i'm going to bring in one of the velociraptors so you can see if you wanted to scale them to that you can do that uh that's the amber collection of velociraptor not the hammond collection these are the ones that came out first and then they replaced the whole hammond or our amber collection stuff with the Ham hammond collection because they went with a more traditional scaling so if you have one couple of those they will look kind of cool with them oh and for one other kind of horror movie-esque stuff because he's there i just spotted him bring in the wolfman from the jada toys line so you can see wolfman does turn a little bit smaller so there's kind of scaling going on if you want to keep scale together or just can go out the window with the scale it's up to yourself but there you go guys i hope you enjoy this quick video review for the vecna figure from bandai it's a really cool figure um i do recommend picking him up if you can still get him available i'm not sure if he's still available at the time of this recording on big bad toy store it was last year when i picked him up i just didn't get around to doing a review for him until now so there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review and as always, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Cheers!